in this video we will learn how to convert fraction to decimal in the earlier video we have seen that fraction and decimal are two different ways of representing the same mathematical value therefore it is always possible to convert a fraction to decimal and now we will learn the method of doing this conversion क्योंकि हमने पहले देखा है कि फ्रैक्शन और डेसिमल एक ही वैल्यू के रिप्रेजेंट करने के दो तरीके हैं इसलिए हम एक दूसरे को कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं बिफोर वी लर्न द मेथड लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द जीरो बिहेव्स फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव ए नंबर थ्री नाउ इफ वी राइट ए जीरो ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड देन दिस नंबर विल कम थर्टी However, if we have a number three, and if we write a zero on the left side, then it is zero three. It is so. If we put a zero on the right hand side, right side, then the value changes. If we put the zero on the left side, then no change in value. So, what does this mean? that we have number 3 and we can write 0 3 we can also write 0 0 3 we can also write 0 0 0 3 any number of zero on the left hand side will not make any difference in the value but if we have if we put a zero on the right hand side then it will become 30 and then it will become 300 and it will become 3000 so we cannot put zero on the right hand side but we can put any number of zero to a number on the left hand side so this one is to be understood first similarly when it comes to decimal say for example we have 3.3 and then what we can do is we can write 3.0 so 3 can be written as 3.0 similarly this can also be written as 3.00 so now if there is a decimal then if we are putting zero on the right hand side then it does not make a difference so 3 is equal to 3.0 and is also equal to 3.00 so these are equal so this 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 are equal but these are not equal this one is not equal now let us take a fraction 1 by 5 1 by 5 so what is 1 let's write here 1 by 5 what is one one is numerator numerator and five is denominator so this is on the about about the line and this is below the line so remember d is for down d is for down so remember that denominator is always below so never confuse between numerator and denominator by remembering that the word d is for down now let us take how to convert this fraction into decimal 1 by 5 so in this case we will it is basically by division so what we will do is we will divide 1 by 5 so we cannot divide 1 by 5 because 1 is less than 5 so what we do is we put a decimal point here and put a zero here and therefore we will put a decimal point also here because the result will be less than zero and it will be if now we can divide 10 by 5 so what do we get we get 2 so we get 10 and therefore this is zero so what is the answer is 2 0.2 and 0.2 can be written as 0.2 because on the left hand side of the decimal we can put any number of zero the value does not change similarly 
if we have to calculate for example we take another example now say 1 by 8 so if we convert 1 by 8 which is a fraction into decimal so we will follow the same method that we will divide 1 by 8 again one cannot be divided by 8 so we will put a zero so we will put a decimal point here and then zero so now 10 can be divided by 8 so what we get is 8 what we get is 1 and then from 10 minus 8 we subtract we get 20 and as you know that we can put any number of zero so we put one more zero here and then we put here now 20 by 8 so we get 2 in the and here 16 so we get 40 and then we get 5 here and then it becomes 0 so answer is 0.125 is equal to 1 by 8 now whenever we do this type of division and we are able to get to a result where the last value gets fully divided then this is called terminating terminating decimal why we call it terminating because we are able to get the exact value of the fraction in decimal so this is called terminating and in this case the result is complete in all respect now we take another example and that is 1 by 3 so now we again try the same thing sorry we put 1 here and 3 here so again we put decimal decimal here so this becomes 9 and then we get 1 put one more zero here one more zero here so again we get 3 Three three nine. So again we get one. Again we put one more zero here, one more zero here, and again we get one zero, and so on. So this process will continue, and because of the fact that that means the answer is zero point three 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 three, and it is endless. It is endless. Now in this situation, this is called non. terminating because it is not coming to a completion so this is a non terminating fraction because the decimal value is not terminating so but what is happening is it is recurring 3 is recurring or repeating and therefore we write like this we put a line on top of 3 and that it means it is a repeating value and this is called recurring or repeating recurring or repeating and the uh, uh, numeral 3 is will be repeating endlessly so in so 1 by 3 is reflected in decimal like this so now take another example let us take one more example where we will see how it happens before we come to the completion of this video let us take three by eleven now if we take three by eleven and then again we will follow the same method numerator is three and the denominator is eleven so we take Three here, and then we divide by eleven. We put a decimal, we put a zero, and we did. So we will find by two, and then we get eight. So we put here, then we put seven. Eleven into seven is seventy-seven, and we get three, and then again zero. So we will get two again, 
and we will get 22 and then again 8 and then 77 and then again 3 like this. So what will happen is, so this will become 0 0.272727 and so on. So this 27 will keep on repeating. So how we will write this? It is a non-terminating fraction and the decimal value is written like this because 27, these two numerals are repeating. So 27, 27, 27. So like that it will happen. You can try 1 by 7. I mean if you, the, there could be two numerals which are repeating or there could be three numerals which are repeating. So it could happen and then sometimes uh, what may also happen that the first uh, two, three may not repeat and after that the last one may be repeating. So we can try different examples and we will find the different examples are giving different values. Say for example, if you look for 1 by 7. Now I am not doing this calculation, you can try yourself. Then in this case it will happen, let me write, let me not write here because this will require space, much more space, say 1 by 7 and this will be 0 0.1428571142857. So this whole number, this whole number of six characters is going to repeat and this is the pattern so we will say because you will see 142857 and again it will be 142857 so this will keep on repeating so this will keep on repeating and so how we will write this fraction we will write like this so all this 142857 are repeating and we will write like this. So what we have seen in this video is how to convert a fraction into decimal and the result could either be a terminating fraction, terminating fraction or non-terminating. And in case of terminating, we will be able to get the exact value. But in case of non-terminating fraction, we will not get, we will have the repeating uh, numerals and for writing the new, uh, repeating numerals which are going endlessly, we put a bar on top of the numeral as we have seen in case of 3 by 11. This is 3 by 11. In case of 3 by 11, we have seen this like this. So this is the bar and in case of 1 by 7, we saw like this. In case of 1 by 3, we saw 0 0.3 and in case of if it is terminating then for example 1 by 8 then the answer is 0 0.125 so there is no confusion when it is this similarly like 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 so this is very clearly a terminating one 1 by 4 is equal to 0 0.25 so these are some of the examples which we commonly face. So in this, uh, that is what we have seen. We have seen the method of how to divide it. We also saw the effect of putting zeros uh, after the decimal, there is no change in value. Uh, however, before the decimal, if we put a zero on the right hand side, the value changes. So uh, therefore, we should be very careful uh, about this aspect that value does not change if we are putting additional zero on the right hand side of the decimal and similarly uh, as we have shown the like 3.0000 we can write like 3.01 we can write 3.010 etc like this thank you